Hi there folks, Joel South, Outdoor Instructor here. Welcome back to the YouTube again for another POV rigging video. This one is gonna be a little bit different to the last where we covered the bunny ears figure of eight or double loop figure of eight. This time we're gonna be talking about rigging a pair of working lines or rope access lines from a single static rope. So to start things off, just to set the scene for you, I've tied some knots in the end of my rope and then flaked those down so that I have the center of the rope in my hand to start things off. I'm gonna start by tying an overhand on the bite here just to mark the middle. This means if I drop it back in my pile of rope or I'm not concentrating on what I'm doing for a moment, I get chatting to a colleague, that way I've got the center marked. I don't have to faff about trying to find that again. On each side of that knot, I'm now gonna tie a figure of eight on the bite. So I'll start this off on one side. And if you don't recognize the name of these knots, then I have done videos on my channel elsewhere um, that have that go through how to tie these. So I'll either pop some links in the corner of the video or down in the video description. So there's one figure of eight and we're just gonna copy that again on the other side of this overhand. There's our second figure of eight. So we've got three knots there now. The two important ones are the figure of eights. We're gonna take those together and clip them into our first piece of gear. Now in this case, we're working off some trad gear just for this example, but these could be bolts, etc., as is appropriate to the work you're doing. So we're now gonna drop one of those tails and ignore it for a moment, because we're basically building two Y hangs here, just out of the center of our rope. So taking one strand, I'm gonna tie a Alpine butterfly in the line Nice and neat. Double check, of course, that this is a well-dressed Alpine. And then we'll clip that into our piece of gear. Okay, so we've got Y-hang number one sorted. Now we can ignore that Y-hang for a moment. We're gonna come to Y-hang two. And again, just tying an Alpine butterfly there, making it similar to the other. And again, we'll clip that in to our second piece of gear. Now, as you can see, we've got two Y hangs here, but they're sort of spreading off at different directions. We don't really want that. We're gonna be working on these lines and uh, I'm gonna say our direction of pull is about in line with this one. So that's the line we want. But as you'll see, if I bring this secondary line over to that, we've suddenly got some slack here. So what we're gonna do, really simple to adjust these Alpines. We're just gonna pull the slack through from that side and just shuffle it over into our Alpine. And now we've got two nicely stacked Y hangs built out of the center of our rope. We can now coil up or put our boat, our rope in a bag, throw it off the edge, or it can be lowered down as is appropriate. Or like I say, you can carry it in the bag with you. I hope that's helpful. I've been Joel Self Outdoor Instructor. This is how to rig your two working lines from one static rope. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.